Tonight, ABC 17 News investigates when led up to a school bus crash in Jefferson City last Friday. We were on the scene shortly after two first student buses collided during this, that sudden midday snowfall. ABC 17's Joe McLean uncovered new information about the crash and joins us live in our Jefferson City newsroom tonight. Joe, police say the bus driver was at fault. Lucas and Ashley, I told you last night as we've been covering this that I did have to submit an open records request to the city of Jefferson for this police report. In it, the cause of the crash is listed not as an act of God. A JCPD traffic report sheds more light on the first student bus crash and what caused it. It happened minutes after midday on Friday when a bus carrying 42 passengers slid and rear-ended another bus carrying 16. It was a small collision in which no one was injured, but parents say it's a close call that should not have happened. I think they should have done an earlier dismissal. That way it gives the parents enough time to make sure their students get home, their children get home, you know, safely. Some JCPS parents I spoke to said the district should have called off classes earlier on Friday or canceled them. Well, the parent of one of the students who was on the bus at the time of the crash said more of the blame may be on the driver. She says that the bus driver can't drive. He's constantly running into trash cans, hitting curves. Stefan Wartnaby was the driver of bus number one, and the police report places the blame for the crash on his driving that it says was too fast for conditions. I think they should reevaluate the driver myself. I think it was like maybe not paying near enough attention. The report also says the driver wasn't distracted or inattentive and was not intoxicated at the time of the crash. Not just that one bus driver. I, I feel that all the bus drivers, all drivers shouldn't be. It was too late to be driving. I've been working to uh, get the uh, find out if uh, uh, that driver faced any recourse after this crash. I was just told by the district in the last hour that that question would have to go through First Student Bus Company. I have yet to hear back from First Student, uh, but that parent I spoke to today who did not want to be identified tells me her child was home late, late getting home today because that same bus driver hit a curb again today. Live in the Jefferson City Newsroom, Joe McLean, ABC 17 News.